Hey friends, it's Vedil Patek this side in watching my YouTube channel PyGuru. Friends, today's in this tutorial, we are going to learn about text OCR with PyTestSet library. What is text OCR? Uh, OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition and text OCR basically means to extract text from images or to localize text or draw bounding boxes around the words or text on an image. Okay, so this, uh, this is basically the meaning of text OCR and this is what we will be doing in this tutorial. So what are some applications of text OCR? Text OCR is basically used uh, in large number of ways like uh, data entry. If you are in data entry business, you can just simply extract text from images and put it in your Excel files. And then it is used in number plate recognition. It is also used in automated password recognition, document verification, IoT apps and task automation likes of things. Okay. So for this, we will be using two libraries to do the text OCR. The first one is a PyTestRef library. And the second one is the open CV library. Now, what is PyTestRect? Uh, before that, let's learn about what is TestRect. TestRect was basically an engine developed by HP Hewlett Packard. Uh, it was initially written in C++ and then Google adopted it. And from 2006, it is being maintained by Google. Okay. So now uh, we have a Python version of TestRect available uh, in the Python programming language and it is known as PyTestRect. So we'll be uh, using PyTestRect to uh, do two things in this tutorial. The first one is the text extraction and the second one is text localization, uh, which we can say is drawing bounding boxes around the text Okay, in an image. So uh, how to uh, use PyTestRect? First of all, we have to install it. Now remember, if you just try to uh, do this thing pip install pytestrect you will get an error on running or importing pytestrect that is tesseract not found error okay so there is a proper step to install pytestrect on your system the first thing that you have to do is uh, you have to copy this link i'll just give it in the video description go to your chrome and open this okay now after opening this uh, scroll down and you have to download this uh, exe file on your system i have 64 bit system so i'll simply download this particular file the next thing is you have to just double after downloading you have to just double click it and then install it uh, and remember uh, on installing just uh, remember where you have installed the particular exe so on my system my tesseract of uh, this by tesseract psc that i have just downloaded from chrome is installed at this position c program files tesseract ocr tesseract.exe okay you can uh, uh, this uh, you can just change this on your installation process okay or on the installation setup you can just copy or change the directory where you want to install the file script the next thing is you have to do two things you have to open your cmd and you have to type pip install pytestrict and pip install opencv python hyphen python okay this will install the pytestrict module then opencv module on your system so after installing these two, uh, let's get started with text extraction. So for this, we have to import both uh, modules. Uh, so how can we import it? We can import PyTestRect by simply import PyTestRect and then we can import OpenCV by import CV2. Okay. Uh, this is from PyTestRect import output. We'll be using uh, this thing for text localization. Okay. Now the next thing that you have to do is you have to write this particular line on your uh, program pytestrect.pytestrect.tesseract underscore cmd equals you have to pass the path where your tesseract exe that you just downloaded is installed so my tesseract exe is installed on this particular location uh, c program files and tesseract ocr and after that just simply put tesseract.exe okay uh, after doing this setup let's get started with the text exception so in a folder where i have my uh, this python file which is main.pi I have few images like article.jpg, code.jpg and these three are png files. So we'll be using these images to extract text from them. Okay. So for this, uh, first of all, I'll create a, a variable called image path or img path. It will store the path of my images. So if uh, the image in the same folder where a Python file, you can simply pass the name of the image. Otherwise, you have to pass the copy its full path from here and then pass it. Okay. So the first thing that I'll be using it. Uh, let's say uh, I'll be using my first image that is text1.png I'll be extracting text from this particular image so the next thing that you have to do is you have to create an image from it so img equals cv2 uh, which is open cv library imread and here you have to pass the img path okay 
let's just show the image uh, using the open cv so cv2 dot im show here uh, you can pass the window name and then the image that you want to show so the image that you want to show is this img variable so we have just read it using the cv2 dot im read method and now we are just going to show it and then you have to <coughs> just pass cv2 dot wait key so it will not destroy the window automatically so let's just run this program and it will show us the image so uh, wait a second so we have some error here cv2 dot uh, has no attribute wait key actually it's my fault uh, i have to use a capital k here instead of small k okay so cv2 dot wait key and now if i just run this program uh, we'll get the image okay so let's just see the image so this is the image and now we are just going to extract the text from it so i do not need these two lines currently so i'll just comment them down uh, the next thing is uh, we'll create a variable called extracted text which will store the text that we extract from the image equals pytestract uh, this is our library and here inside we have a method available that is image to string so we'll be using image to string and here you have to pass the image from which you want to extract the uh, string so i'll simply pass the img since it's our image the next thing is we are just going to print uh, the extracted text extracted text and i'll put the strip method on it so it will remove unnecessary empty lines from uh, initial and the last of the image okay so let's just run this it will take few seconds so this is the output okay i am curious about area filling text rendering options so this is the text written in the image okay uh, we can try some other images like this one text2.png and let's just run this yes so this is the text written in this particular image okay so this is how you can simply extract text uh, using the pytestrict library I have few more images uh, on which we can apply like text3.png, article.jpg or code.jpg. So let's also apply this on code.jpg and then we'll move to text localization. Okay, so let's just run this. So this is a thing extracted from the particular image. Whatever you are, we are good one. Okay, as said by Abraham Lincoln. So this was a text written in the image. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are uh, going to do text localization, which is which basically means we are going to put bounding boxes around the text in an image so for this we have to use open civil library uh, to, to do this uh, we will not use uh, these two lines now uh, let me just comment them down uh, first of all i will create a variable called d which will store the data and then uh, i will use the pytestrict library again and here I will be using a method called image to data and it will uh, this particular method will give us the bounding boxes of the image okay so img remember here we have imported one more thing from pytestrict import output okay so remember you have to import this line too here so to use this particular method so here I want output type equals output uh, this is a method uh, class that we have imported output dot dict okay so you have to use this thing uh, basically what it will do it will uh, give us the bounding box of all the words in a dictionary format uh, the next thing is we are just going to create a new variable which will say n boxes which will store the number of boxes okay so for this we are going to just simply put the length on this particular d variable d and here we have a key called level so it will give us the length of the uh, bounding box or uh, bounding boxes you can simply say the number of bounding boxes that are inside the image that are detected in the image the next thing is we are going to apply a for loop for i in a range n boxes you can simply say uh, the number of boxes and then we are going to create four variables x y w h uh, which is x comma y is the top initial or the topmost coordinate topmost left coordinate of the bounding box 
and W and H are the width of the bonding box. So we are just going to use this and here we have to pass uh, D left I C uh, if I equals 0 then just we are going to uh, extract the D left from it which will the X coordinate of the uh, bonding box and to extract the Y coordinate we will use D top and then pass the I okay which is again the index for I in range and boxes and to extract width we will use D width and then again you have to pass the I and to extract the height you have to use D height H I G S T and then again the index okay so it will store the bounding box or x y comma w h uh, values of all the images in this particular variables in these four variables okay x y w h now we are going to uh, put the bounding boxes so to put the bounding box we have to use the open cv library so for this we have to simply use cv2 dot rectangle uh, this is a method in the open cv library by using which we can draw bounding boxes around a word or anything okay so this takes few values first one is the image so our image is simply the img variable then the initial coordinate of the bounding box bounding box is basically a rectangle so we will need the initial coordinate and the final coordinate of the bounding box so our initial coordinate is simply x comma y and then our final coordinate so initial coordinate is top most left uh, coordinate uh, corner of the rectangle and the final coordinate is uh, bottom right okay bottom uh, right coordinate of the rectangle so it will be x plus width okay and then y plus h this is the bottom right corner of the rectangle the next thing it takes is the color uh, of which you want to draw the bounding box if you want to draw a, a red color it takes rgb values so you can simply pass 255,0,0 so let's draw 255,0,0 and then it takes the width of the rectangle so we can simply pass 2 here ok so after drawing the bonding boxes you can just show the image so you have to just uncomment these two lines and just let's just run this uh, ok uh, so here the bonding box is in blue color actually it's my fault open cv uh, uses color in bgr format and not in rgb format ok so here the value that i have passed to 55 is actually of blue and then the green is 0 and the red is 0 if you want to uh, draw red bonding box you have to use this one uh, 0 for blue 0 for green and 255 for red okay so let me just cut this one and let's just again run this program so this is the thing that we have got okay so this is how you can uh, use text localization uh, using the PyTestDirect and OpenCV library so let's just uh, cut this one and apply uh, it on some other uh, images so i have few more images here like article.jpg uh, so i'll simply try article.jpg now let me just run this program <coughs> and this time again we will get the bounding boxes of the image so let it get done actually my system is little slow that's why it takes time otherwise it's very fast so to see uh, it successfully uh, draws bounding boxes or rectangles around the words so let's just close this one and use some other images too like text3.png and let's just run this and i have one more image i guess text2.png yes so i'll also be using text2.png too so if you want to extract text you can use this method image to strings and if you want to draw bonding boxes around the uh, in, in words you can use this uh, method okay so i guess uh, won't i uh, wait a second so this is the output that we have got okay so this is how you can draw bonding boxes now if you want to change the color let's see if we want uh, a green color bonding box you can simply pass 0 comma 255 comma 0 and now let's use some other image here so instead of text3 i'll be using text2.png so let me just run this so this is the output that will work okay so this is how you can uh, apply text localization and text extraction using the pytestrate library and the OpenCV library 
I hope you learned something new. If you are, uh, if you love this video, leave a like or a dislike. If you are new to my channel, subscribe it. Thank you. See you in the next video.